Hi, this is Dan Bullard, retired electronics engineer, sitting out on the front deck of my houseboat again. Oh, we're getting there. I, I want to make this really short. Feynman again. I, I, yeah, I found this on Feynman, and I'm, I'm surprised I'm not the first person to find Feynman was lying. He was making stuff up and putting in his lectures. Feynman confused a student at William and Mary. She read in Chapter 5, Volume 2 of the Feynman Lectures on Physics. That's the same thing that I'm disputing. Feynman Lectures on Physics. And I don't want to get into the details of what the error was, but I'll give you the URL in the description. So it's an interesting story from William and Mary. This gal studied Feynman and then answered a test question wrong. And the instructor says, no, 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 that's not the way it works. And she says, but it's in Feynman Lectures on Physics. And she didn't get any credit, so she failed that question on the test. And so, amazingly, she wrote Feynman a letter to say, hey, your book says this, and I got the test question wrong. My professor at William and Mary says this. And Feynman said, yes, I'm sorry, I got that wrong. You answered it the way you should if you understand what I said in my book, but my book was wrong, so I'm wrong. So this was like um, not that long ago, but uh, she got the letter from him in 75, I think. So it's really interesting. What Feynman said in his book is wrong. Feynman was making stuff up. Feynman was making stuff up about harmonics. Nobody knows how harmonics really work. Feynman didn't. Now, again, I like Feynman. I think Feynman's a great guy. But one thing that Feynman said in this letter to this gal Cox was, don't base your answers on the fame of your instructor. Base your answers on logic and reason. You know, it's okay to say Feynman's wrong. He's not a god. I'm not a god. Oh, I'm close. <laughs> Anyway, uh, I just want to make that real short. It's a really great story. Read about it. Feynman admits he was wrong. Okay? Now, if he were alive today, he'd have to admit also that he was wrong about harmonics. And the guys who worship him, this guy Mike Gottlieb, he worships Feynman. You can't do that. Feynman said so. You can't do that. Anyway, so it's a beautiful day. Uh, it's not going to rain, I don't think. So once again, from the river, this damn boulder, see ya.